Three years ago, I appeared in a video presentation about government grants for which I was compensated. In retrospect, it was a mistake. I should have never appeared in the ad, and I apologize for my involvement. I came to be involved because a Florida company contacted me and uh, invited me to appear. They made mention of the fact that my old congressional colleague, J.C. Watts, had appeared in a similar video about a year before. So I called J.C. Watts and talked to him about it. As I recall, we really dealt more with uh, the notions of, of doing the video presentation, the nuts and bolts, the production issues, and didn't talk a lot about, about the company and the services uh, that the company was offering. In retrospect, that was a big mistake because I failed to do the due diligence required. Had I done a little more digging, I probably would have discovered what uh, a lot of people know now that the company had several consumer complaints against them. And those consumers who complained were not alone. For example, it was brought to my attention that as late as last year, this same company was using my image and likeness again to promote these grants, uh, long past the agreed to expiration point of our agreement. So I actually had to get a lawyer to write a cease and desist letter to the company. So I had my own difficulties with that entity. Uh, subsequently, the company has filed for bankruptcy, but what is especially interesting is the fact that the owners of this troubled company contributed $11,200 to John McCain's political efforts. You don't read much about that in newspaper coverage and not much has been made in the stories reported uh, from a variety of sources, but I think it is important to note that the owners of this company gave in excess of $11,000 to Mr. McCain's political efforts. A couple of other points about this. Uh, it is worth noting as well that Senator McCain on his official website has an entire section devoted to government grants. So uh, obviously he believes in the merits of government grants, though he tries to attack me for being less than fiscally conservative, uh, using some terms that I never uttered during the course of the presentation. He talks about, quote, free money. I never talked about free money. In fact, I said, this is not free money. You rendered it to the government in the form of taxation. And something else you should know. Uh, when I was serving in the Congress, I had a direct hand in writing the tax cuts of 2001 and 2003 so you could keep more of your own money and send less of it to the government. My opponent, John McCain, voted against both those tax cut measures. So apparently John McCain believes your money is better spent by the Washington bureaucracy than by you. That's another key difference between me and John McCain. And that's another reason why if you really want to change the old way of doing things in Washington, you need to retire John McCain in the August 24th Republican primary.